So a couple weeks ago I posted a video on diagnosing a faulty capacitor for a high pressure mercury slash metal halide constant power auto transformer ballast. It's actually identical to this one. This is uh, another ballast in the same lot of ballasts that I got from don't remember what eBay seller it was. It was at the end of 2020 so it's been a while. And there was a poster on that video who was absolutely adamant that no, the operating current of a 175 watt H39 high pressure mercury lamp is 2.4 amperes, not 1.5 amperes. And to prove that wrong, I got this. This is an actual H39 only constant power auto transformer ballast. Now, there is a difference in the open circuit potential and short circuit current, which is probably what that poster is thinking of. Because, see, this is the mercury ballast, and it says fault current, which is short circuit current, 2.4 amperes minimum, and open circuit potential is 250 volts. This ballast, which, again, identical to the uh, ballast in that video, Short circuit current is 1.5 to 1.9 amperes. Open circuit potential is, 300, is 275 to 335 volts. So now time for the current test. And yeah, this is a temporary lash up because it's inclement weather, so I'm not modifying one of my fixtures and doing the test outdoors like I normally would. So uh, don't try this at home with you know exposed angry pixies and blah -de blah And there is the lamp. Standard 175 watt H39 Mercury, identical to the test lamps in that fixture. And immediately after startup, lamp current's about 2.2 to 2.3 amperes. However, that's because when a high pressure mercury lamp is first started, the potential across the lamp is only about 20 volts. There's about 15 volts of cathode fall from each electrode. And then about 10-ish volts across the discharge because when the lamp's at very low pressure when it starts up, uh, the potential gradient across the discharge is only 2 to 3 volts per inch versus about close to 40 or 50 when the lamp is fully run up and it's going to be higher in lower power lamps which operated much higher internal pressures. And you can see there is the lamp still at a fairly low power because the discharge is still very diffuse. Although even as I'm looking at it the discharge is coalescing into the about eighth of an inch diameter plasma stream that it is when the lamp is at full power. So I'll come back to this in a couple of minutes when it's warmed up. And only a minute or so in, and we're already down to 2 amperes. And there's the lamp all run up. And with the lamp fully run up, operating current, one and a half amperes, like I was saying. Don't doubt me. And for where I'm getting my information from, is James Hooker's website. H3975 watt mercury lamp. 1.5 amperes. Likewise, another H3975 watt mercury lamp. One and a half amperes, again, right there. 